Hey and welcome back and welcome to the pass int video. So in the last video we started looking at how you can convert a string to a number. So if you have something like this being held in the memory, this is a string, but you want to convert it so that you can use it as a number. So in this video, let's see how you can do the same using the pass int function in JavaScript. Now, the pass int will pass a string and it will return an integer based on the radix you define. So what is a radix? A radix is the base of the number. So we have different radices. Now the radices that we have or rather, the radices that we mostly use is base 10. Base 10, which is a decimal numeral system. So you don't really have to worry much about this because it's just something you need to know and that's enough. So the decimal numbers that we have are what we use. So the radix basically, basically means the unique amount of different digits that can be used to represent numbers in that system. So our decimal numeral system that we mostly use has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then zero. So if you count this, they amount to 10. And that is why we have base 10, our decimal system. You may also have heard about the binary and the binary has only two possible numbers, zero and one. You may also have heard of the octal system. The octal has eight possible numbers. So it will start from, let's put zero here. So it can start from zero all the way up to seven. That is the octal. You may also have heard of the hexadecimal system. Hexadecimal, which has 16 possible digits that can be used to represent a number in that numerical system. So in the, radic in the hexadecimal system, hex, let's just call it hex, you can have zero up to nine. And then from nine, you will use a up to a up to f so that they can be 16. So let's just say a, what do we have there? a, b, c, d, e, F. So you'll have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then A will be 10. That will be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then if you add 0, there will be 16 possible digits, which gives you the hexadecimal. So the radix is the unique digits that can be used in the number system to represent any number in the system. In our decimal system, we know that if you want to represent a billion, you can only use numbers within zero to nine. So that is what the radix is all about. So if you want to convert a number, you want to convert a string to a number using the pass int, you'll put the string in there and then you put the radix. And now the radix is a number from two, can be a number from two, to 36 and we've explained what a radix is in most cases the radix we use is 10 that's our normal number numeral system so for the other radices if a number goes beyond 10 all the other parts of the number will be listed using the alphabet so from a to whatever like we've seen for hexadecimal it goes all the way up to f if you want to represent a number with a radius of 11, 
the next number in the series will be a so 11 will be a if you want to represent a number, a number with 12 the next number so as long as it reaches 9 you start to you start to use the alphabet numbers so so here are some examples f 2 3 this is we are converting this into a hex number hexadecimal number that has a radius of 16 let's continue from here in the next video so that we can continue more and learn more about this pass int and how we can use it so i'll see you in the next video